Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You're here with Diva. I hope you're all safe and healthy in this time. So today's um, request is um, what does he or she think about me? Okay, so guys, remember it's a, uh, you know, I'm just going to be reading energies. I'm going to create the Celtic spread and I'm just going to follow my intuition regarding this situation. So just be aware that if it doesn't resonate, you know, it didn't resonate. So just click off. It's okay. Give me another chance the next time let's say and if it does resonate then i'm going to be very happy if you want to like like dislike dislike subscribe donate if your heart desires it anything that you want my if you want private readings and it did resonate and you want to try it out read the terms of conditions and then you know contact me absolutely so um today's we have five um piles it's mostly what do they think about you okay it could be very triggering it could be good energies it could be bad energies i will not uh condemn anybody for seeing another person in a specific way they have their own way they have their own karma and their karma makes them perceive recognize and see certain stuff in their own way which you do also okay um but we're gonna go in that vibration okay so you have pile one which is byzantine um tarot then you have pile two which is tarot of uh, the night night tarot de la nuit you have pile three which is number 13 i kind of look at this deck as if it's the death card for me so i will say death uh <laughs> or rebirth let's say deck but the, the name is 13 tarot then you have um, Light Visions Tarot, Pile 4, and then the Millennium Thought, Pile 5, okay? Choose with your intuition. I will be using my airport code. If you don't like it, then just discard it. I will be shuffling in my intro the archetypes just for the whole piles. I will be using Animal, Spirit Animal, and for some of you, if you have history with the person, if you have history with the person or could give us extra information, it's mostly for extra information not reliable all the time okay but we're gonna use the hidden truth but i'm telling you please be grounded you know better than me if you need that boost i will i hope that you will get it if you need that like just that element of coming back to earth i will give it to you also but you are the master of your own life so whatever i do you will decide if you want to be influenced by it or not okay and i respect you i definitely do and whatever i say even though it could be judgmental or <laughs> i'm perceiving the energy it doesn't mean that i hate you or i hate what i'm saying it's not that it's just understand the vibration be discerning there's no right and there's no wrong in the way i channel okay i see it that way and i manifest it that way you will see it in your own way and whichever way you see it is exactly right because that is the right thing for you in that moment okay so if you've chosen you can go directly to your time stamps i will just kind of whoever wants to watch me shuffle that is uh you can look at me and i'm gonna shuffle this live in front of people but it doesn't need to kind of uh be anything where it's just starting with the airport code names and all that kind of stuff i'll just shuffle them because i usually kind of take them out like pick them up and then i kind of like put them back in and then i kind of follow my intuition the next time but sometimes you have to shuffle it just to kind of like release the energy you know in some way and i'm doing this live in front of people so that people do see that it's shuffled and perhaps it might be for the collective here or the person who requested the reading ideally with the request i will be reading for the person right but then again because you and i are one spirit if we're going crown chakra wise in my opinion everything i say could resonate with anybody else so whatever is beneficial to you will be beneficial to other people including myself me okay so i will be using my own discernment to do the reading definitely my own intuition and based on what tarot is speaking and how my intuition is guiding me to do certain stuff i will do it that way okay so this is my way of reading which might be agreed or disagreed upon by other people but they have their own techniques and if they want to kind of follow through with, i don't know dogma or um procedure i mean 
I'm a I don't say crazy, but I say I accept my side and I like that. That I'm disorganized sometimes or I'm like spirit of the moment or you know, whatever I say might be a bit un un understandable perhaps. But I'm gonna manifest that I'm trying my best to be in the present moment with you guys and I'm hoping that whatever I will say will be uh you could be on the same wavelength with me when I'm talking about certain stuff. Sometimes I go off topic. Sometimes it's just the energy I wish to express. I don't have a good vocabulary. I'm very aware of that. And sometimes when I speak, I do make mistakes. I will say this again. But I have like arrived in a period in my spiritual journey that... I have accepted myself the way I am, so I can never be perfect for another person. And if you genuinely like me for who I am, let's say as a tarot reader, we're saying, or diva, whichever your way you're seeing me, okay, um, you will have to accept me the way I am. And if you're able to do that, then it it is a meaning that of saying that you can allow yourself that love too. Whenever you're doing something you were not aware of, or even if you make mistakes, it's okay. Okay? Even if you kind of hate yourself for doing a specific thing, it's okay to love the you right now. Because the past, which was the past self of you, which is also the present side of you, doesn't know any better, right? But you want to be very aware in that moment when you're existing. So overall that's what i'm trying to do here i know it's not perfect i know i'm not uh i'm trying my best okay and there's a lot that you will wake up to i will wake up to thanks to you or thank you will wake up thanks to me but it's all about you know how you accept me Overall, my focus here on this journey for now, okay, is to be accepted for who I am. And I will not, it's like when I say be accepted for who I am, it's like be the accepting of the fact that I don't necessarily talk that much. I'm not necessarily 100% friendly, you know, socializing and stuff like that. I do it in this way because it's the most comfortable and like me getting out of my comfort zone way for now that i've seen as possibility to kind of manifest so <laughs> this is the me for now okay so this is also why i'm channeling is because you're asking me about what does he or she think about you right so what do they think about me or what do they think about you now the way you kind of see me if you watched me right now and what you're thinking of me could be very similar to the way your person might be thinking of you <laughs> could similarly be the way you're seeing me and what you're judging me to be if we're going mental here so i'm trying to also sometimes make you understand that how you judge me usually is the best way that another person will judge you because that's what karma is in some way now you cannot be the other person 100 percent, but you can have a certain understanding intuition wise spirit wise it's all about manifestation. It's all about expression. But you're the one who witnesses your person. Okay? And you are the one who is working with your person or talking with your person or projecting yourself and they're projecting themselves on you. So out of all that information, it's a lot of information if you're very evolved spiritually. Okay? Like, let's say spiritually or you have a certain consciousness okay and sometimes when you don't have that level of practicing your consciousness then whatever i'm saying might be un difficult to understand but i'm gonna have the faith that you will understand what i'm trying to say okay so it's like a perhaps an understanding or a point of view that you might kind of be able to get familiar with if you're not necessarily in that flow okay so that's basically it. Now, overall, for this meeting, we're asking, it could be romantic, as it could just simply be work ethic, or it could just simply be friendship. I will not focus on what type of connection you guys have, because that's not what I feel drawn to do. I feel drawn to do to kind of give you an archetype about how your person sees you. 
the spirit animal was mostly for how they kind of tune into your energy what type of person do i perceive you as because when we're saying thinking thinking could be many ways i can i'm judging you in some way i'm judging you or i'm kind of like saying this is right or wrong could be but i'm gonna like give you that thinking perception but i will also give you a specific uh discernment perhaps okay because i'm in a phase in my life where i can't discriminate even if i'm expressing discrimination here okay <laughs> like sometimes i say discrimination as if like this is this category or this you're like the pretty or the chic or the sophisticated or the noble the humble the i don't know the majestic and these are all categories that don't necessarily blend in together but if we combine certain things it's like you can be very pretty but sophisticated you could be very pretty and you can be you know like um uneducated you know it's it's like those vibrations that i'm saying discrimination but i need to express those um energies so that it could give you the insight you seek but you have your own way of seeing your own way of understanding and i'm gonna say have faith in the way you're gonna be taking the energy from me but understand that i don't wish to hurt anybody the intention here is to just manifest something in a very aware manner and devote myself to just doing the reading okay and i need to if i need to go in ugly energy or i need to go in very toxic energy or ego arrogance i will embody them okay and you will have to know you know it deep down just to kind of be aware of it and have faith in yourself don't doubt yourself the moment you start doubting then there's an element of you have to kind of uh silent the mind the self-judgment anyways this is mostly for those who kind of need to hear a specific thing so this was my intro of 12 minutes okay but it's more shuffling and whoever wanted to kind of spend time with me just watch me and you kind of like my energy okay uh it was for them uh then we're gonna start so you have the byzantine tarot pile one so we'll do it next time so byzantine tarot uh wherever your person is or if you guys share the same culture culture doesn't really matter here i'm not necessarily gonna, i don't focus on culture that much on my uh reading it could be like a element i will talk about but it's not necessarily what i focus on okay so i will just focus mainly on what i need to with the tarot as guides okay so we're talking about them a male mostly what does he think of me okay what does he think of me about me or she Okay, it's female for females, female for males too, if you're a male here. Okay, for me, gender doesn't necessarily matter. Sexual orientation doesn't either. Diva when she reads, okay? So what do they think? Does he think of you? Okay, of me. So first off, how do I see you? Okay, the archetype that would describe you. Thanatos. Okay. Uh <laughs> A lot of intense energy i got though it's very intense and a bit moody okay usually i don't necessarily focus on this but i kind of channeled something intense okay like i think you're very intense and i left you before you could leave me so you are very intense for me overall it's a it's a very 
let me just create the Celtic spread perhaps well I'll just not shuffle because I already felt like I was uh five of swords you're very intense for me what I think you're an intense person and you take things in a very intense manner as if like I can't like you keep grudges perhaps i think you keep grudges or you're the grudgy type or it's like it's a uh, it's like i can't i don't want to say play with you it's more like there's no sh like bullshit or it it's it's like you're a dictator overall this one it's like a dictatorship like vibration so you have the five of uh, swords and this is inward cards. And if you look, this person is really like under like a beggar or pitiful. And there's one person who's like an abuser or something. And it's like, you're definitely a, like a control freak a bit. My challenge is the magus. But I'm kind of observing you. The reason why is the cosmos, the world card, 21. And then in the past, you have the justice card. In the present moment, you have six of staffs. And in the near future, you have six of pentacles okay so the person's opinion of you changes a bit okay but overall i know that i can't like you will never be my victim okay you can never be my victim as if like i will never like it's uh you're very strong okay you're strong mentally there's a men mind you you have a strength element to you intensity it's intense it's not just strength it's like definitely i will not be able to like mentally i can't play with you mentally mentally but it's not just mentally it's it's um like i know you're manipulative okay i how the person is thinking of you okay how i'm thinking of you is that okay overall even if i were to like want to kind of uh date you let's say this could be an interest of yours the person is kind of seeing you as if like you're very like strong-minded you have a certain mental uh severity strictness discipline and it it it's it needs to be your way 100% or it's the highway you're very stubborn you could be quite moody okay i think that it's moody and it's intimidating but you're fearless in that it's like you own it in some way and what the tanatos it's a very like manipulative i kind of channeled um spider energy it's a spider it's definitely beautiful energy you can look at it and karma is like in the form of a spider just as long as you're able to work hard uh be aware of what you're creating which is amazing because webs you can it's a very uh if you do some researches about silk it's definitely a very high quality tissue and it could be used to create like clothes and very cool stuff and silk is genuine silk it's not just any type and imagine a spider makes it so you are somebody very uh what i think about you if i were to kind of s express this person's opinion about you opinion or thought is that i'll say uh to a person that you're very stubborn very stubborn very fixated mentally you're very focused determined but it's like you have an authority over people it's like a dictator it's like if i were to go snm you'll definitely be the sadistic there if you understand the the where we're positioning you like you're the you know it's like i will kind of like go down on you or like <laughs> give pain but it's mental it's vocal like there's an element of like you're vocal you're very tough toughness and uh intense you're very intense you're there and it's like it's all about you uh i don't want to say ego tripping but for some people 
uh, you will know if you have a certain element of going in your ego. But for some part, I'll say I channeled ego tripping or power tripping. You do a lot of power tripping. You're proud of yourself, but it's like, it's like you don't, I don't want to say you you need to show it off. It's just that sometimes you go in that phase, perhaps with this one, or you're always in this phase. I left you before you could leave me, but I was scared a bit of you. I don't, I didn't want to become this person here. Okay. Like I didn't, it's triggering whatever, however way I'm reading this, I'm getting triggered. So uh, I don't know if you guys are getting triggered, but I'm sensing I'm becoming triggered here. Okay, because what I'm saying, I if I were to hear this myself. <laughs> it's like you're the master always, but it needs to be your way or it's the highway. It's like there's an element of you don't like it. Or it's like if I need your attention or I want you, let's say... I need to be your bagger there. I need to be the slave there in some way. It's a bit that way the person is approaching you. If you want to know how they're thinking. If I'm thinking and I wish to kind of approach you. And if this is a mind mind game where we're playing mind games. You don't even play mind games. Or even if we are playing mind games. It's like I'm no longer turned on by the mind games. It's that vibration. If we're playing mind games, it's like you are always like, it's it's like I'm a little ant and I'm trying to be friendly with you. I'm trying to kind of gain your love or your trust. But the way I'm kind of like, I'm the ant and you're, you're just smashing on me. It's a bit that way. It, it's that way. So I think that there's a huge vibration difference with this one whoever you met this was uh, not a person that was vibing to you i'm not strong-headed like you are perhaps i was mostly a victim i would be in a victim mentality here because you're very like intense intense i don't want to say you kind of take the role of a abuser but it's a dictatorship that they will I'm channeling here. It's like the way I'm approaching you is very dictatorial. You're very dictatorial. It's it's like you kind of it's like if I don't swap it's like if I don't go with your flow, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna be like uh pained or it's like violence could be part of it if we're really going intense here. Okay, I'm you will know your tendencies. You know yourself, okay? Like, I'm not saying this is right or this is wrong. This is how they're thinking. They're approaching you. I'm your slave. I'm like, I should be your slave all the time. I should fear you. And I fear you, though. I do fear your intensity. Because there's an element of you're very intimidating. It might be a turn on. But you were... On a simple term, it's like you're definitely not somebody i want to deal with overall okay i left you before you could leave me definitely because you're very strong it's like i'm just gonna be a slave of yours you're the dictator it's like you're the person who chooses what you want to do like i'm just like a bagger i'm just gonna be like a little bag on your shoulder and following you i'm gonna be your follower i'm not gonna necessarily be your partner here it's not an equal like, at the end, I understand there's an element of you wish to have equal give and take. But the person doesn't sense it, let's say. The main situation is that you're like that, okay? And, uh, like, the, the reason why I tune into that is because, like, I wish to kind of see you for who you are, right? Because if I love you genuinely, I will, I will gonna observe you completely i will observe your energy and i will kind of compare my energy with yours which was what the person did here now my challenge to perhaps face you or be with you was to be more manipulative to be more uh flexible or adaptable to your fixation because your energy is quite fixated okay as if it's very stubborn like that it's like it's not budging it's very like heavy here like that um 
and your person's trying to kind of like like understand you completely okay i'm trying to understand you completely and look at you but you looked always like the master it's like you looked like the master the chosen one or you kind of put yourself in that vibration that you did deserve many stuff but it's like however you reacted with me was very like i was just an end and you just like did this to me it's a bit like that i don't know the understanding but you will understand it's like i was always you were always like putting your foot on me it's a bit like that um and in the in the initial energy it was from the start it's more like you it's like it's it's very uh to your face to my face it's like your energy was always in front of my face it's like i know i can't play with you i i know i will never win a battle uh, I know I can't play mind games with you because you're always it's like even if I were to play with you it's like it's not playing it's like you take it so seriously that I can't play with you oh, this is what they're thinking okay so it's perhaps understand the perception uh and if it's the other way around then i'm gonna say you know better than me and then in the present moment there's like you always want to seek success okay you always wish to kind of succeed and be recognized and you were always proud when you kind of like succeeded so you kind of like perhaps mentioned certain stuff to me but it's like because there's an element of i'm not to your caliber i'm not to your standards uh it's like, that's what I think about you thinking about me. As if, like, you might have a superiority complex, okay? This one is a definite superiority complex. You're overpowering yourself, and th this is how they're seeing you, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean this is how you see yourself, but this is how they see you, How what they think about you. What they think of you is that you're very... Uh, I'm gonna say strong, mentally strong, but there's a stubbornness and it's a, if I'm a love interest and I'm not like you, I'm not in a, into being like the one that's the slave. I'm not the type that's like masoch masochistic, if I'm saying it properly. It's like S and M, the M, I'm not the M and you're the S. I'm not going to be turned on by you, okay? But if I'm into M thing, I will definitely want to be your victim. <laughs> I don't know where we're going, but it's this is definitely s and m. It's uh, your one extreme type here. What they're thinking of you is that you're the type that's the dictator in the bedroom. It's like I'm you're going to be wearing the leather things and you're going to kind of like smack my my ass. Or, like, I will just have a collar bone on. It's like, you know, the collar, the collar, collars? Ugh. How do you call it? Like, the thing that we put on the, the collar. <laughs> Necklace. But, you know those, like, choker kind of things? I will be your dog. And you're my master. It's like that. So, if I'm turned on with those things, you know I'm the, like, I like sadistic people. Then you're perfect for me. Even if you're unaware, you don't see yourself as a sadist. This person is looking at you as if you're like that. Now, if I'm, I'm the, I am, I like to, I like pain. Okay, I'm the type that I get turned on with pain. You're exactly my type. Because I like to play the victim or I like to play the, the person who needs to get that pain element. And you're the one that likes to give the pain element. It's a it's that vibration here. So you need a polar opposite to you. Now, if the person is not necessarily your opposite, I'm not necessarily, I don't like pain or I don't like that kind of stuff. I will leave you 100% because it's not fun for me. This is not like fun. It's a turn off instead. If I'm the type that seeks equal give and take, with you, it's like... You're too much for me. It's too intense. For some part, for some of you, your, your person found it too intense. That they were very conflicted. Because they were kind of like... 
sacrificing themselves a bit, not willingly. Instead, a person who likes pain, I'm gonna definitely not be conflicted over the fact that I like to sacrifice myself for you. It's, it's a turn on for me. I know myself very well. It's not that type of person, this one. This one, it's more like I like some other stuff. And from the start, you knew you were not meant to be with this one. You, you knew it, okay? There's an element of uh, it's uh, too much extremes. If this energy, what I'm thinking of you is that you're very extreme for me. I will never allow you certain stuff that an M person will not allow you. I don't know why we're going in that energy, okay? So you're too intense for me. Too much, too intense. It's not, it's not a turn on for me. You will know if your person is that type, okay? If they're being turned on, it's very easily. They're, they become flushed or uh, there's like a spark in the eyes, okay? But for some of you, I could definitely be turned off. The vibe being turned off will be very... Uh, you will know if they're turned off. They're bored with you very fast. But if ever I was always flushing and I had like blushes or my ears were red or something of that sort, then I'll say they were turned on. Okay? But for you to know that, you have to remember how their person was reacting with you. This is definitely s and &M. I don't know if you know that. Or for me, what I'm thinking can go more, but your energy is more intense. You take things in a more intense manner. So it's like when I'm saying something, you kind of like take it on fast and it's like you come on very strong on me. It's a bit like that, okay? Um, but I know you're still wishing to be generous. It's not that you're not generous. I'm not saying you're not generous. You're it has to be your way, and if it's your way, then everything is good. But if it's not your way, I'm definitely going to be your follower 100%. You're like the, the type that's an, the, a dictator, okay? This is what they're thinking of you. A dictator. Like, you have a moodiness, you kind of make it seem very intense. And it's like with the, with the, the death card, it's very intense energy. Okay, it's a, I don't know, I, I needed to kind of release this energy here. Uh, so this was it, Byzantine Tarot, and I hope you didn't get offended. If I did offend you, I do apologize. It's just that this one, it's very like your person, I don't know who it is, but either I'm like a victim, I, I was too weak for you, okay, you're too strong for me. It's too intense for me, I can't deal with you, it's a bit like that. I, I don't feel good. I don't like, I don't like it. You know, when sometimes people suffocate, if you suffocate, so when people, things don't go your way or you feel uncomfortable with people, uh, your intensity made this person a bit uncomfortable to breathe. So I left you before you could leave me, but I wanted to leave because I felt like I was not I was not good enough, but it's not that. It's 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 a different thing. It's not a... This person was not meant for you. Overall, you will never have been happy with them. Even if you think that you could have been happy, you would not be happy. They will not satisfy you. I knew that from the start, whoever this person was. If this is a romantic interest, I knew I was not your type. Like... <laughs> Even if I tried, I wanted to kind of like play with you a bit. The moment I kind of played with you and you kind of like looked at me as in the form of a dictator. And if I'm not the masochistic type, I was not flushed and I was not like turned on. You're not my type. If I was bored with you as if like the energy went down a bit, then it means that it's it's like... I don't want you. It's it's that way, okay? So that's what I think of you. I don't want to deal with you. Okay, so I do apologize. If it's triggering, please, I'm so sorry. It's like, choose another pile, guys. But don't get frustrated with this. It's not worth frustration. You are who you are. If you're comfortable being yourself, there's nothing wrong with you, okay? That's it. This is just a person who thought of you this way, and this is their opinion. It's not... You will know. 
I don't want to hurt anyone. But that's basically why I'm kind of saying this. And I didn't want to trigger anybody. But I know what I said is very triggering, okay? If somebody were to say this to me, I would definitely, like, feel degraded or stuff like that. But please don't um, go down in energy, okay? You are somebody, okay? And you have your own way of being. And that is who you are. Just accept it. If there are things that you wish to change, you will change them when you want to. This one is just the person that was not going to make you happy. Even if you believe it was going to be make me happy, no. You will have woken up in some way, but then again, you will be frustrated with yourself that you wasted your time with this one. That's what you will say to yourself if you dealt with this one, okay? So, <laughs> you'll know. And I'm not saying this person is weak. It's just that it's just not your person. I don't vibe with you. If I didn't flush, if my ears weren't kind of like red many times and depended on how the level intensified. I don't know how you intensify the level. If you had intensification of level, sometimes are you too intimidating on this person and how did they react? Because sometimes you have a person who kind of blushes at a level, a certain level. Then you intensify it because they kind of like weight you more. So you can intensify the, the level of your intimidation or your en energy because you're very intense. The energy of the person, how I looked at you, what I think of you, you're a very intense person. You're too intense for me. That's what I heard, okay, overall. But you will also know because I'm giving you many possibilities to kind of reflect on it and see it and discern it. Not degrade yourself, discern. Discern the situation. You were not necessarily wrong. They were not wrong. You were not right. They're not right. I'm just saying be balanced and centered when we're kind of reading. But if my uh, if you're not understanding it, it's just okay, guys. Just kind of like release it and like go on your way and be yourself. And you are beautiful. Just believe that. That's it. Okay, so this is just what they thought of you. Okay, my thought of you is this. That's pile one. Now, pile two, whoever chose Tarot de la Nuit, okay, Tarot de Night, Night Tarot, welcome to your reading. I hope you're all safe and healthy in this time. So... I have these letters. We'll just use them. So you have EDI, Edinburgh, uh, Scotland. If it's not Scotland, um, I really channeled accent, okay, or dialect. You have a certain accent that I like. It's very suiting to the ear, okay? So whichever accent you have, okay? If this is a foreigner or it's a person from a different culture, um or a different country or you you're you're like a exchange student or something i like the accent the dialect dialogue dialect dialect that you have or when you're talking you're talking my same language but i know you're a foreigner and i like that way of your talking it's a very i like it okay so the person likes their kind of like ear you suit their ears <laughs> Then you have B-N-A-T-N, -N, okay? So Nashville, Tennessee, doesn't need to be those places. Let's just focus on the letters, okay? Letters for names, uh, last names. It could be letters for countries, cities where you're from or where they're from. You'll know. So let's see what message I wish to give you. I hid who I really am from you. So there was a deception here, could be how i see you okay like how what archetype uh, would describe you so you have the medallion and the forest okay and a spirit animal that would uh describe you we have you in a corn okay I like you, but how how do I think of you? What I think about you is that you're very uh, 
innocent, enchanting, exotic, but it's not exotic, it's enchanting. I think you're very enchanting and there's so much more to you than meets the eye okay so the person likes to get to know you more okay with the forest and the medallion um what archetypes describe you the most so what i think about you is that you like hiking or you like sports or you like nature uh you like to like you're you're not scared of darkness in some way like i don't know why i'm channeling like darkness it's like the person has an impression that you're the hiking camping uh canoeing type of person or like biking type of person um hike bike uh canoe extreme sports perhaps for some of you um but you are very interesting to this person. They they like your intelligence. They they find you to be very intelligent. The medallion it's more like I see you having some kind of like degrees or uh you have degrees, a master's, a bachelor's degree or whichever uh technical de department or technique uh the diploma you're known or you're specialist or somebody of that sort okay like the person thinks that you're very smart overall because i have the third eye chakra the third eye chakra this is the discernment but it's the unicorn that spirit animal um it's a very it's another dimension okay it's another dimension altogether but it's this part here between the brows it's the third eye it's definitely the inner eye okay so you might be very intelligent your person thinks you're very smart okay you have a certain intelligence that is uh very special to them you're very intelligent and admirable what i think of you that's what i think of you you're admirable your intelligence is admirable your uh your energy aura could also be um admirable i admire you overall this one i kind of see value in your intelligence big time but i kind of see you being somebody very grounded too you're grounded but you're very smart smart is the word i'm just gonna say smart because i think this person thinks that you're very smart but in a very like uh street smart but book smart too street smart but book smart i i believe that you have both intelligence okay that way okay so the main situation is the lovers okay okay yeah this one i liked you from the start you have the eight of wands and you have the seven of cups so i see you being lonely i think you're lonely or it's it's but i kind of want to take care of you too what i think of you you're somebody who's very lovable okay i think you're very lovable okay uh you're very attractive uh they think you're attractive okay energetically i like you i like you i think i like you okay <laughs> i think i like you but it's like there's a sadness to you there's a nostalgia to you you're nostalgic or um but i know you're passionate I think you're a very passionate person. I think you're a very lovable person. I think you're a very attractive person. And with the Seven of Cups, it's more like sometimes you're very, like, sad. You're sad. I think you're sad. You're sad or you have immense emotions. It's nostalgia overall, okay? And there's the moon here again. So all the time, all the moons, whenever I see them, I always kind of need to point them down. And my challenge with the Ace of Pentacles is to definitely kind of like make you look at me, okay? Like make your eyes look at me or make, capture your attention, okay? Like capture your attention and have an eye contact, okay? <laughs> or give me a chance, perhaps. And my chat, like challenge, Seven of Pentacles. So 
Mm, this is challenge two. I know I can get hurt overall. Okay. But the reason why is that way you have the eight of cups and the star. So I'm playing uh, the hard to get game a bit. Okay. This person is playing the hard to get game, but they're wishing to definitely be straightforward. Like, <coughs> <coughs> I'm playing that hard to get game, but you know, I want your attention. It's not that I'm like far away from you catching me. It's like I keep you guessing perhaps this one. You have the King of Swords in the past. Okay, so in the initial energy, you have the King of Swords, what I think of you. Um, Okay, this person is definitely a different person from pile one, okay? Because I'm talking to the request giver. Uh, but whoever is here, it's definitely, it's just a FYI, I'm saying this to the person. Uh, there because there's similar patterns that I just kind of captured. So you have the five of swords and the two of swords. So this is definitely a different person who vibes to a different vibration. And in the near future, you have the Eight of Swords. So, okay. Your person likes you, okay? I like you, but I still didn't show you myself. But I hid who I really am from you. But I wanted you to... Like, close that gap between you and me. Because I wanted to seduce you. But I know you're not interested. Or you give off that vibe. You're not interested in me. Because you're very intense. Again. But your person. However I am. I'm thinking of you like this. Is that I. Um, I like your type of person. You're my type. I want to get to know you better. But I'm playing a game with you. What I think of you is that um i did mention everything i said okay like you're lovable you're very intelligent you're very passionate uh you have a certain like way you go after the things or the way your energy is it, it you express yourself in a specific way but your person tunes into the energy inside of you okay so this person does connect with you on their own way as if like i could definitely be very intuitive or i feel like you i'm very similar to you energetically okay so um i'm really tuning into energies very easily guys i don't know why we're i'm kind of okay <laughs> there's a flow here okay So my challenge when I'm observing you, okay, what I think my challenge could be, how am I going to get your attention? Okay, but I need to come straightforwardly and say it to you, but I'm playing a specific uh, game. I'm trying to play hard to get, but at a distance. It's not far from you, the hard to get playing, okay? I'm always at a distance, okay? So my challenge is to kind of uh, be patient with you because I know you're very like intense. I know you've been hurt in the past. I know you have your guard up a bit or you don't want, it's like you have a certain control element to you, let's say, but I like that. I have it myself, but what I wish to have with you is more like that Allow me to play with you. Allow me to seduce you. In my own way. I'm strong enough. Overall, that's the thing here. And it's like in the initial energy, you have the King of Swords. So it's like, I'm turned on with your intense, intimidating energy. 
okay if this is your energy which is the king of swords it's a very intimidating energy it's like i'm gonna kill you any moment or it's like but it's I I get turned on by this type. So if you're the intense, intimidating type of person, I'm turned on by you. It's like it's a it's a I like your type. I seek your type. It's that way. <laughs> but I like the it's a it's a it's a good way of in like it's intense. If you look at this, it's it's a. It's intense, but the energy is enchanting. It's magical if you kind of tune into this. So your intimidating energy doesn't work on me. It turns me on even more. So it's like when I'm kind of trying to approach you perhaps or when I flirted with you or it's like if I'm playing that like seduction game a bit with you, even though I know you're the intense type, um... I'm seeing I'm thinking that you're trying to deny my uh me. It's like it's like <laughs> I don't know how you caught this person's eye, but it's like a person who kind of likes the type you are and they're not intimidated by you. It's like the more intimidating you are, the more I want to kind of like try my luck with you like that. Because I'm intimidating myself. But it's like I want to play with you. So it's a it's a person that vibes to your energy. But you perhaps think that uh, like what I'm thinking is that whatever I'm doing, you're not catching on it. Or it's like you have a certain way uh, you've saw, seen other females or males act with you. And it's like, but I'm interested. I'm enchanted by you. The more you do what you're doing, the more you're kind of like, <laughs> like coming on me or trying your intimate energy on me or really you're coming down on me. Look, it's like, look, it's like I'm going to kick your ass or something. or I'm going to kill you if you kind of do something. It's very threatening. It's like, I'm looking at it, but I'm thinking that deep down underneath, you're in denial of your like. You like me. It's a person that's manifesting you liking them. But they're doing the actions consciously. So I myself am a very intimidating person. But I found myself a type that I like very much. You're definitely my type. So whatever you're doing, it's not threatening to me at all. Because I have those energies myself. But what I'm seeing about you, what I'm thinking about you, is that you're kind of in denial of the fact that I'm taking you seriously. I want you. It's just that close that gap with me. Like give me that opportunity give it to me it's a bit like that but it's like i'm still playing hard to get but i need to test you <laughs> this one is testing you doesn't seem like it but uh they're testing you so you might be intimidated by this one here but i'm not necessarily intimidated by you i'm like that i f i see the sadness inside of you i see and i understand it myself that's why I want to play with you. It's that way, this one. It's a person that vibes to your energy. I'm not going to be a victim of yours, okay? It's like that. And if I'm going to be a victim of yours, I will go in it willingly. It's like that. So you have the Eight of Swords in the near future. It's more like, look, it's like... You're the one... <laughs> giving up on me this one this one it's like what i think of you is that you don't you're kind of conflicted over me i think you're conflicted over me you're sleeping on me it's a bit like that it's like you're sleeping on it i don't know if you're kind of it's like your person thinks that you kind of don't want them but their challenge is to kind of be uh, patient I know 
but I also want you to see me for who I am. It's like, just look at me. Observe me. My eyes are definitely very available to you. It's so like that. Okay? I need your attention. This one. What I think of you. I don't know if we're going the way you want me to read this. or, But uh, I want to definitely seduce you. Okay? And you're worthy of my seduction. 100%. Because I'm planning on being very patient with you. Or my challenge is to be very patient with you. Because I see you as a good catch for me. And I think you're lonely. But I understand why you're lonely. It's like I like you and I find you nostalgic. That nostalgic element of like sadness perhaps inside of you that i feel so this person is very intuitive whoever they are <laughs> they have good intuition everybody is intuitive it's just that they need to go through a process of practicing it and once they're in tune with it completely that's how manifestation is so this one it's more like it's you got yourself a very this is whoever you're whoever you came here for what does he think of you i'm very intuitive i'm that type of person i'm quite intimidating and i'm not necessarily intimidated by your energy no your ways they're not threatening to me i can definitely be very flexible with you and i vibe with you so it's it's not an element of right or wrong victim and uh master energy here it's definitely very i like you you're a good match for me you're definitely my type you're my type or i even if you were not my type i liked you i like you that's what they kind of are doing here. Okay. So that was it. Uh, pile 2. Hope it resonated. I hope I gave you guys some kind of insight. If you want to like, like, dislike, dislike. Comment down below. Uh, donate if you want to spoil me. It's a good energy though. This one. This pile. For the person who gave me the request. And whoever chose it. It's a good. Uh, they think very well of you. Go weakness and strength wise i've perceived you in a specific way as if like i'm certain about myself even if it doesn't mean that you see yourself that way or you think of yourself that way this person thinks of you that way it's a nice energy So that was it. Now, pile three, whoever, whoever chose the death card for me, I'll say the death, but it's number 13. But I'm going to call this my mem, okay? It's like my mem card <laughs> deck. But uh, it's 13 tarot. But I like to call it mem or death card for me. Even though the, the first picture might not be the death card. It could be, I don't know. But I channel it that way. message perhaps for you i'm starting to understand our connection okay the comic this is your archetype it's like if i were to kind of s express you the way i think of you what archetype would i kind of use the comic and Firefly. So let's see letters. 
So you have B, U, and D, Budapest, Hungary, and you have S, I, N. Mm. <laughs> A U S T X. Okay, so I added one more because I was really gonna do that consciously. So I kind of went there and I did it. So for some of you, have those letters A U S T X, S I N, and B U T or D. Beauty, but light. I don't know why I kind of like channeled a beer mark brand. But for some of you, um, let me shuffle it. But I'll tell I'll tell you what I think of you though. The comic for me, it's very, uh, I don't want to say triggering, but it's what I think of you is that you kind of show the world that you're funny, you're good, you're the jokester or something, but deep down underneath, I feel like you're hurt, okay? So it's that way that the person is observing you because there's a, it's like if you look in this one, it's more like there's a mask it's like the whole cat with the festivity and the head and all the colors it's all a show in some way but it's like underneath there's something painful that you're hiding or you're in pain it's like that the archetype it's not necessarily that 100 percent, but what i channel when i looked at it is that you show the world that you're good, you're happy, you're smiling, or you kind of like are keeping it together on a face. It's like you have the the smile, okay? It's like perhaps you're wearing a mask, but it's not that. It's more like you're trying your best to kind of seem happy, look composed, uh, look the best way you can, where it's like because you don't want people to kind of see that there's something wrong inside of you you kind of try to put something outside of, like outside it's like that that element of like i'm putting on a show that everything is good everything is ecstatic i'm like extremely happy right now but like deep down underneath there's something about you eating yourself up or you feel like you're not accepted or it's it's like there's pain inside but on a physical level you're showing that you're party animal or you're like the it's like partying too so let's say the best way i can express what i think of you you'll get an idea of it yourself it's more like let's say i broke up but my let's go really dramatic here okay like but it's really intense i genuinely loved my girlfriend or my boyfriend okay i loved my boyfriend and i was a devoted perfect girlfriend i was like cooked meals really good or i kind of always spend intense money i gave them the intense like i don't know like good watches and i was always like devoted to him and then again i caught him sleeping with my best friend let's say and the whole situation happened and it's like it was too much for me to swallow but like the betrayal and that intensity that i sensed and i felt i kind of like take the whole element and i kind of push it down inside of me and then i go and i my best friends are having a party i go to that party at the club and i kind of have fun like shit i drink and i'm kind of funny everybody loves me everything seems good i'm sarcastic i'm smiling i'm being seductive people are after me but it's like that's what like a few hours ago i caught my boyfriend and my best friend sleep together they might have known it or they might not have known it but i kind of like, like witnessed it all and i kind of kept it inside of me and it's like i pushed it down and it's like 
every every time it's like i'm still with my boyfriend it's not that i'm not with my boyfriend it's that vibe it's like i don't break up with my boyfriend but i'm with him and i'm acting like everything is good but I, I witnessed that. I know that my best friend was fucking my boyfriend. And it's like I'm still being the best friend with my best friend. She's still my best friend. My boyfriend is still my boyfriend. And I'm partying like an animal. And I'm just kind of like seducing other males. Just to make myself feel good. Or like it's a... I don't know. It's that way I kind of connect. That's what I think of you, perhaps. I see the pain inside of you like that. But I see also all the show you're putting. It's, it's uh, that way. And uh, with the firefly, I know you're beautiful inside. It's a person that sees the beauty inside of you, but you're in... I don't know, guys. This one, it's like... I have a certain opinion of you. I might be delusional here, or it really is going to resonate. You will know, because I haven't created the Celtic thread yet. But deep down with the Firefly, I know you're a beautiful person. I know you have a spark to you. I know you're special. No matter how you see yourself, I know you're special. And why you're doing this is that you don't want to hurt anybody around you, right? You, you don't want to hurt anybody behind you. But what you're kind of like unaware you're doing is that you're hurting yourself inside. But you're still very loving. That's why you're still friends with your best friend. You're still friends with your boyfriend who's cheating on you. You're still with other people. <laughs> but you're creating that pain element inside of you. It's a bit that way. I don't know how they see this. But this is how they kind of tune in to you. Or this is what they think of you. I know you're a good person. You're very beautiful. You're a very healing person. But you're a person that's in in pain. You don't want to hurt anybody. But you are hurting yourself. It's that way. They look at you. So let's just create the Celtic spread. And I'll just kind of continue on uh so six of cups i feel a connection with you okay so i'm starting to understand our connection but i feel a connection with you perhaps i feel it on my end i think i feel a connection with you perhaps then you have nine of wands uh and this was in the reverse okay this this ten, the 6 of uh, cups is in reverse then you have the the 9 of wands although sometimes it's like i might feel like we are def defensive with each other it's like we kind of have our guards up but we do observe each other okay so you have like the 5 of um wands energy or i observe you or i think you're very observant so i think that you're quite defensive but deep down you're a very nice person deep down i know you're a very nice person you're very sensitive in some way because you're very nurturing deep down okay like you're a very nurturing person you care about people um overall i see that inside of you but i see the pain element okay with the comic it's that vibration though i don't know if it resonated you will know or it's just simply like you're very pain inside but you kind of show the world that you're not you're pretending to be happy overall that's the type that they're kind of like saying you're pretending to be happy but i know you're a good person inside and i know you're very observant
my challenge is the two of cups okay and the knight of wands so perhaps on a physical level both of them so be in a connection with you date you perhaps or get to know you better or kind of ask okay but you have the empress so uh why i kind of tune into that you have the empress card in reverse with the six of wands in the past you have queen of swords in reverse in the middle section you have three of swords with the devil card yeah it's basically what i said <laughs> i'm sorry and um with the sun on a physical level and in the near future you have the tower what i think of you is that uh it could be a very good person to you it's a very good I don't know how you look at this person, but this person wants to help you release the pain, okay? Because uh, if you're in pain, that is. If it's resonating with you and it's like you're like pushing the pain underneath all the time and kind of like pretending that everything's okay, but it's like you're trying to do the uh, like fake it till you make it, but the person sees the potential underneath you that you're very nice, you're a very caring person i want perhaps my challenge is to be in a connection with you or to love you and receive your love equally as much and uh with the knave of wands definitely have passion with you okay but it's like get you make you feel worthy okay it's that way the person is kind of wishing to approach you but give you that emotional love that they think that you're lacking. Uh, they think you're deserving though. So you do deserve love. Overall, my challenge is to how am I going to kind of give you the love in a more uh, practical manner, perhaps. Not be too vulnerable with you. Because sometimes it's too intense. I don't know if I went too intense. Or um, it could be... You will know only if it's going to resonate or if the person's too much delusional or, you know, in their own head connected to you. You will know. So I want to kind of take care of you. Overall, my challenge is to take care of you or kind of like, you know, date you or get to know you better like that. Why so is because I see you as a very nice person like the like i see you as a very loyal person in some way i recognize you okay whoever this person is they recognize you for who you really are not for the pain that you've gone through not for the what you're trying to show the whole world it's not why they're looking at you they genuinely feel a connection with you okay i feel that connection or i have had experienced it myself that it's very available to me it could be that way if this is not like uh romantic let's say i'm a person that i kind of perhaps this happened to me okay and i had a phase where i partied and i didn't like cut things straight with my friend and my my best friend with my boyfriend i didn't 
handle the situation i tried to kind of deny the situation altogether and be in my happy world but then again i i kind of like know that you're gonna it's gonna crumble soon this facet or this show you're putting on of you being happy when you're not necessarily it uh, you're gonna crumble soon. It's gonna crumble soon. So you will not be kind of pretending to be happy like that. I th Okay. Face value. The person knows there's something wrong with you. Okay. What I think is that there's something wrong with you. You're not your usual type. You're not comfortable. Or there's something inside of you that you're hiding. You're not comfortable with that. But you're still going on with life. Pretending and fake it till you make it. Kind of thing. But... The person is kind of like, uh, they want to succeed loving you genuinely and kind of like, I know you're a very genuine person. I know you're very caring, very loving. You, you're very beautiful, okay? It's like this little, you know, firefly. Usually fireflies are beautiful at night, you know? And they're like little, teeny tiny, ugly little insects. But it's like, it's so beautiful when it's it shines. So... It's not about the looks. It's not about your looks with this one. What I think about you is that you're a very beautiful and precious person the way you are. I recognize you for who you are. Okay? And uh, perhaps I didn't know what our connection was, but I'm starting to ex understand it. Okay? That I do want to have a connection with you, a palpable one, a palpable one perhaps. And why I want to do that is because I see that you're a very nurturing person. You're a very giving person. It's not easy to kind of do this. Um, the thing that I'm kind of expressing, it's like if you understand to what point the person cared about other people, how you, t you put pe other people first than you. So it's a humble characteristic that the person uh, respects about you. But it doesn't mean that other people, it, other people, whatever the situation is, okay, we're just going to focus on how this person sees you, okay? Um, but I need to express so that it's understandable. Oh my god. <sighs> Ugh. okay so let's say your girlfriend my boyfriend and my best friend were not respecting me but i was trying my best to respect them regardless of what i knew that it's like i uh, i understood to what point you're a very lovable person because you were able to cope with it why were you coping with it is because you knew people were deceiving you and you were still respecting them. You were still trying to, you know, deal with the situation best way possible. But then again, you're hurting yourself that way. You're very beautiful. The fact that you were... I like let's say a guy is looking at me and I'm a girl okay like a guy is you basically and you're seeing me very beautiful for I being the comic here trying to act like I didn't see anything when I know everything and I'm acting happy I'm acting like the normal type but this person is seeing that I'm not but perhaps this person you you also witness my boyfriend fucking or like doing something with my best friend and then you kind of figured out that this is my best friend and this is my boyfriend <laughs> it's like that so it's like you know i know and you know i'm trying to deceive everybody but you are also seeing that i'm trying to deceive myself but you find me beautiful there it's like that but perhaps this is something that you it happened to you also and you kind of saw it and you witnessed it yourself and because you kind of overcame it yourself you're seeing me whoever you are basically uh i'm gonna crumble soon my show this show of mine 
acting like everything's okay is gonna crumble soon so it's like that this is what i think of you i don't know what i saw but this could be just like this is how i feel you okay this is what i think of you or this is what i witnessed with you so i found you very beautiful i found this 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 beautiful it showed to me that you're a caring person like i don't know how the person the person recognizes you to be a very caring person you you're a softy inside you're a very sensitive person you're very beautiful very compassionate that's why you're doing it but you haven't perhaps kind of like gone through that metamorphosis or gone through that victim mentality of like releasing the why do i need to act this way but i know you're very loving i will not doubt that you're a caring person that you're a very sensible person you're like that so i see that and this is what i think of you i don't know if it resonated you will know but this is more like that i don't know if the way i kind of expressed it doesn't mean that it's like this is what happened to you but i kind of think of you that way if it's not a thing that happened to you and i witnessed it okay i try to make you understand the emotion okay i try to kind of seek something inside of you i don't know if i was I, I succeeded but you will know okay so this is uh what it was now pile um for whoever chose the life visions tarot welcome to your reading i hope you're all safe and healthy in this time so let's see what does this person think of you okay think of me the question was what does this person what what does he think of me okay so i felt i left when i saw you with someone for some reason, i channel more attractive than me so i don't know what that meant and uh, how do i like what archetype do i kind of think of when i'm kind of thinking of you so you have the mirror And my <sighs> Phoenix. Let's see what letters I can give you. So PBIFL, so West Palm Beach, Florida. Then you have CVGOH, so CVGOH, Cincinnati, Ohio. So those letters it doesn't necessarily need to be from the places i mentioned it could be any letter first name last name country whatever etc i was gonna say i saw you in a highlight though what do i think of you i with the mirror i kind of channeled you mirror me or you mirror people in general you like mirror people's behaviors back to them you're like an exact mirror so you kind of adapt to me or you're exactly like you imitate me or something i think you're imitating me
I need time. Because what, what I'm saying, it's like, I was going to say with the mirror, it's more like you see me very, you, th you see things very clearly. Okay. Or you mirror my intuition. Because how I'm looking at you with the Phoenix, you're very like, you, you, you're very liberating, but very centered person. It's like, I think you're very like sacred person. When I'm saying sacred, it's like, you're someone very rare and liberated. It's like the Shakti energy just woke up as if like it's a Kundalini awakening. This is the Shakti, it's the root. This is where the snake uh, Shakti energy sleeps, okay? It's, it remains dormant until it kind of like wakes up. So the phoenix is like symbolism of rebirth, but it's also that element of constant rebirth. Phoenix. I die and I wake up all the time. It's the same thing as breathing in and breathing out, but it's like we're going too intense there. So, <laughs> or simple. Too in simple, but it's in the simplicity, there's a lot of, in nothing you have everything. So, um... Let's just be more comfortable here. I just we just to kind of have a more easy reading. So we're just going to kind of like keep it simple. <sighs> this is more spiritual and intuitive. If I have more spiritually evolved or people that seek more spiritual kind of thing. But I know the, the request is most like what does he think of me, right? So I don't know when you're going to be choosing this one, but I kind of see evolution already. So, <laughs> Or it definitely is in the eye of the beholder. Okay, so what they're thinking of you is in the eye or in the, in the mind of the person who is seeing you. So what do I think of you? Okay, so you, you have the world card and the seven of chalices. Okay, like... My challenge is the Nine of Swords. The reason why is the Hierophant. In the past, you have the Two of Pentacles. Then you have the middle section as of like the orchard, um, orchard, orchard, orchid. And then in the near future, you have the seven of wands. In reverse. Mm. Below the deck. Four wands. I left when I saw you with someone, but doesn't mean that I gave up on you, this one. Okay, so we'll see. But I felt rejected. I, I felt not chosen, it's like that. So what do I think of you? Yeah. 
I don't know. You will know if they're in a romantic connection with somebody else. You will know that much, okay? But this one, what does this person think of you? We're just going thinking, okay? I'm just going to add one more. I'm seeking for some of, like, I have a question in my head, okay? Like, one second. Okay, whoever this person is, they feel like they're not good enough for you, okay? Uh, that's how they're seeing you, okay? Like, them, they're not good enough for you. Um... Although they like you immensely, they find your energy to be very uh, universal. You're a very universal person, but with the mirror, it's like you're somebody who can embody many stuff. You have a certain clarity to you. And um, with the Phoenix, I definitely feel your energy. Okay, so... I respect you, I admire you, and I feel like you're a very established person or you have a certain knowledge to you that is very wise, but very um, spiritual, you're very spiritual, okay? So whoever is here, you're very spiritual overall, and you might be like into astrology, you read astrological charts or stuff like that um anything to do with uh spiritual activities like meditation or uh chakras or uh, reiki stuff um like i'm looking at you as if you're very universal you're very embodying it's the there's something about the universe inside of you. Basically, this is like that. Okay, the person, I don't know how the person is like looking at you and how they see themselves, but they feel like they're not good enough for you or they're not perhaps, I'm not good enough for you. That's the word here. That's why I left when I saw you with someone because I kind of was in that mentality that, uh, I was the only one for you, but I'm not necessarily the one. You kind of were with someone. So I felt hurt for that. But then again, when I'm kind of looking at you, what I think of you is that you're very universal. There's something very centered inside of you. But then again, it's not just... It's like... It's like I... There's something spiritual about you. I think you're very spiritual, okay? Overall, the main thing is with the mirror, it's like you shine bright, perhaps, because the mirror, it's a very clean energy. Like, if you look at the mirror here, it's sparkling, and you have the moon, and there's this energy that I feel perhaps you're psychic, that is it. It's like, I think you're psychic, or I feel like you're very, like, knowing. You're knowing, or you're not knowing, or you know that you don't know, it's that way. But what I think of you, I think of you as if you're someone very, you evolve and you expand. Um, you have your options open. But it's like even in the options, there's an element of very rare. You're very rare. I think you're a very rare person or... Uh, my challenge is that when I'm kind of facing you, I feel anxious, though. I feel like my challenge is facing you, but it's like because you're a mirror, I'm facing myself with you. It's a bit that way, okay? So, uh, if... Okay. Uh... <laughs> For some of you, okay, it's like the per... <laughs> you 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 could be very spiritual okay and when people kind of tune into your uh vibration because you have uh released or you know finished or faced some of your own karma 
okay? Because that's what spirituality is in some way for me, okay? It's like, if I'm very spiritual, it means that I'm kind of facing one by one all of my... It's like I'm inquiring and I'm facing and I'm kind of tuning in uh, to all of my patterns. And, you know, when I, you do that and when you kind of get out of the hermit energy, you arrive to that karma element where you realize that everything is inside of you and you can change those things yourself. So if you kind of are in that vibration, which could also be what I'm talking about here, uh, other people around you are going to start uh, facing their own karma, okay? So when I'm saying their own karma is that they need a mirror image to them that's going to make them... It's like, let's say I... How can I explain this to make it understandable? If you're very spiritual, then you're going to understand it because uh, vibration and energy attracts similar energy. So if I healed a certain trauma of mine, my family members are going to start healing them themselves in their own way because I'm healing it and my energy is like that. It's like if I'm healing certain thing, it many people who are who have similar karma to me are going to start evolve in a specific way because I'm kind of overcoming a specific pattern and that pattern of mine that I'm overcoming is helping another person overcome it but then again they need to go through a certain awakening which will come in the form of a mirror effect so in some way what's happening here is that your person is facing themselves through you and uh, how they're looking at you is that you're somebody very admirable because there's something about your energy where it could also be like twin flame or soulmate kind of vibration but it's like um, that uh, karmic element but when we're saying karmic it's not about like marriage and just romance because if you're going in that vibration there's a something that you can awaken to that it's egocentric as if like this person is only mine but if you're going spirit wise no spirit is yours to begin with you were just part of one spirit and we're all just different manifestations okay so that's where the soul family element is from or where the you know the karma element is so <laughs> this one it's very spiritual okay so what this person is thinking is mostly because I haven't overcome a specific element and I'm facing somebody who has a certain spiritual element to them, I'm kind of awakening to my own patterns. But sometimes because I genuinely have a certain emotional element to you, like I'm emotionally attracted to you, but this one, there's no real emotion. I'm aware to the fact that I'm just an option of yours or you're just an option of mine or you're just a simple person like that. But the impact here is on a more spiritual manner. So the person, if they're not necessarily spiritual, they're just uh, like asleep. Let's say it's, an ex it's not a spiritual person. It's just a person who's kind of like trying to understand uh, if you're playing with them or... It's like, look, you're like a teacher to this person. This is a student, but it's a student with, it's like you're unconsciously being in a teacher's environment. Like you're, you're taking the position of a teacher and this is more like a student, okay? And then spirituality, okay? So your role here is to simply awaken your person with this person to kind of, uh, I don't know where we're going. <laughs> to kind of face themselves, okay? Because your energy is that of like a guru, okay? You're somebody who has like awakened the Shakti energy inside of you. So it's like you're in a Kundalini awakening vibration. And this person is going to start their own Kundalini awakening, but it might take them a while. Depends if they're going to resist it or not. But what they're thinking of you, this one... It's not thinking. It's more like I'm trying to understand on a on a weak state of mind, on, on a weak state of spirit, what you mean to me. Okay, so this is what it means, this one. This is what they think of you. It's not that I don't think about you. It's more like I'm looking at you and I kind of don't understand what you mean to me. There's an element of karma, definitely. 
So this person might feel a connection with you, but it's enigmatic because it's like if my spirit hasn't awoken or something, I'm definitely not going to know what's happening to me. The first dark night of the soul is very hard because you're not used to it. You think you're going through depression and stuff like that, but it's not necessarily a pit. It's more like uh, the tower moment there. It's like allowing the spirit to kind of go through that tower moment so that it's awakened a bit. It's like that, okay? So this person might not have really had an, a tower moment and this is like a phase where... Uh, it could be a soul family member, this one, soul family, okay? Somebody who needs to face their own karma with you. But based on how they're gonna overcome the, the victim mentality inside of them or something. So this is more like a soul friend, soulmate. But it's not a soulmate yet, okay? So it, it's, it's more like a stranger or something. Or it could definitely be just one person that you kind of like uh, needed to cross paths with and just like what this person taught of you they didn't understand what you were like I I have a certain magnetism connected to you it's not thinking this is I'm not just thinking I'm like feeling your soul in an intuitive manner it's that way I'm feeling your energy body uh, or spirit element in a more intuitive manner so if i'm not very intuitive i'm kind of looking at you and i'm feeling like you're very similar to me you're like a mirror image of me but more awake alive than me so for now i'm more in the self-image or ego vibration okay so when i'm kind of looking at you i don't understand why but i kind of like judge you to i judge you i judged you at first to kind of be more playful so i thought you were the more playful type or you were the type that was giving two options to me as if like you gave me two options and with those options i didn't know what i was gonna do but with the seven of wands it's more like i kind of like had faith that I could do it with the seven of wands. So I don't know if you kind of motivated me, but what I thought is that your motivation worked in some way. So I'm admiring you and I'm kind of like respecting you. Overall, that's what I think of you, this one. Okay, so this is what I think of you. I'm like a student this one i'm not i'm not even aware i'm like in that faith like spiritual student unaware i'm unconscious but it's like the what you kind of wanted to tell me i took it but i kind of didn't understand what you wanted it's like at first when you were giving me many options perhaps or you were talking about spirituality or something your, your person was like looking at you as if like you're giving them two options or you were juggling two things at the same time as if, like, if you're kind of, like, telling your own story. You're doing a storytelling process. It's, like, an element that I'm telling you a story, right? And in the story about me, I was juggling two options, but I kind of, like, learned how to juggle it. It's, like, I knew how to find the balance, right? Then perhaps they didn't know what to do with it, but it's, like, it was, like, like a, I didn't understand. But then at the end, I understood that it's, like, it's about time I kind of jump. So... It could be like a motivation, spiritual motivation. You could be a spiritual motivational, uh, like what do you call them? A speaker, motivational speaker, but spirituality wise, okay? For this person, this is what they taught of you. But I don't even know that they were conscious. Diva saying the person might not have been conscious that you were kind of like giving them certain stuff or they didn't know the value of what you were saying. But at the end, it's like motivation and its own. So I kind of thought what you said was motivational. This is what I thought of you. Or the thing that you did. Okay? <laughs> this is all I have for pile four.
if it didn't resonate guys it's okay it's okay so <laughs> sexy millennium Todd tarot pile five whoever chose pile five so you have s-i-n and you have m-d-t-p-a m-d-t-p-a those letters those countries it could be you have pennsylvania harrisburg and you have singapore but it doesn't need to be those those countries only okay so let's see what message this person wants to convey i can't stop thinking about you so what do they think about me i can't stop thinking about you so we're gonna figure out what they're thinking of you uh the castle so definitely thinking that's what mind stuff mind activity only <laughs> and ego stuff and you have the mountain okay so if i had the mountain it's better okay it's a better energy combination than just the, the castle so we're good so you have the castle and the mountain and you have the octopus. Let's create the sexy Celtic spread with the sexy Millennium Pod. I don't know what kind of bond I have with my Millennium Pod. I just kind of have a, like, I just find it irresistibly sexual and sexy. So... They might kind of find you very sexy. I'm not gonna lie. Okay? So, you're very sexy. Because <laughs> that's what I channeled the, the castle. I really went ego-wise here. It's like just looks. This is definitely just looks for me. But it's like I'm looking at it and it's like a photo. It's like Instagram pictures and stuff like that. For me, sometimes Instagram pictures only, it's a bit superficial. I'm not saying it's not good. I'm not against art and manifestations of art like that. It's just that for some part, the castle is just like images. So it could be like I, I'm, I'm kind of like editing or photoshopping my pictures. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. But it's like there's no element of keeping it authentic, let's say, okay? But it's not just the castle I'm kind of looking at you. I'm looking at you as if the mountain. So... For some part with the mountain is that I know uh, you're the self-made type of person, okay? But I also find you very sexy, okay? I like your luxury, I like your style, I like your pictures on Instagram. Over, I like them, okay? And I can't stop thinking about you, so it means that I might kind of like be watching. Uh, your Instagram pictures, uh, your TikTok, your... I don't know, whatever it is from a camera point of view okay like a camera point of view i'm observing you but i like your eyes too okay because there's an eye here okay the energy is okay let me just uh create the something spread <laughs> just kind of because <laughs> at first if i didn't because I went there consciously, okay? Because I don't want to just give you that, like, ego element there. But then again, the question is, what do they think of me? So it's not necessarily how they feel. Less. It's more like thinking. What do they think of me? It's like, how do they judge me? What's their opinion of me? It's like that. So... I know you're not stupid though okay it's like I'm, I'm looking at you it's like i'm not objectifying you okay because at first i didn't want to go on that energy i it was gonna go there okay but intuition wise i needed to take the the mountain energy and it's like anyways even if i had the octopus i didn't take the mountain i needed a puzzle piece there so it's a puzzle piece there um octopus I know you're not stupid, okay? But you're very sexy and I know there's an element of your kind of like the self-recognizing or self-made type, okay? You're like the self-made type of person, but 
First off, though, I might have been, like, attracted to your looks. 100%, okay? Like, you were very attractive. 100%. Just your looks only. <laughs> Look-wise, this person will grade you 10 on 10, okay? That's one thing. But they know you're not just your looks, okay? I know you're not just your looks. I know it. Okay, so with the Prince of Pentacles... I feel you're a very stable person, okay? You're a very stable, slow-moving person, but my challenge is the Seven of uh, Cups energy. I don't know. Like, I'm at a battlefield here right now with my intuition. So stay with me, okay? So the, the reason why it's the Prince of Pentacles, it's the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And the two swords. What do I think of you? You have the four of uh, wands energy in reverse. You have the Prince of Swords. And you have the Three of Cups. Yeah, okay. Overall, this is this could be attraction, but we're not going to focus there. Okay? Because we're just focusing on a question, which is what does this person think of me? What does he think about me or she think about me? Okay? Thinking wise, I'm convinced 100% that you're very stable. Okay? You're the self-made type. You're the type that always kind of you're very ambitious. You have a certain recognition. I know you're not stupid at all, okay? You have an emotional intelligence. I see you as a person that has a lot of emotional intelligence. You're very, like, I'm not going to say grounded. You're self-made. I channeled uh, a self-made person who's famous, okay? It's like, it's a, it's a, it, you don't need to be famous. But it's like, I kind of, because... I'm self-made. I I worked hard. I'm the hardworking type of person. No matter how slow moving I could be, I'm the hardworking type and I achieve. I'm the overachiever type, okay? So I think you're the overachiever type. Your looks are 10 on 10, okay? You're very attractive. You could definitely buy, be my ideal type, okay? So this is what they're thinking. You're my ideal type, okay? But it's not even thinking. They feel this, okay? On a inside level i feel that you're my perfect partner okay my perfect partner you're my perfect i like idol i was gonna say but could be idol too okay but the reason why i'm kind of like looking at you is because i myself have that self-recognition i'm not gonna say i'm self-made like you are perhaps but it's like i like that about you and that's why I like you. It's a bit like that, okay? But uh, with the Nine of Pentacles, I kind of like why I think of you this way. What is the two swords? <laughs> Bear with me. I need one more. The reason why. The moon. And the hermit. Give me time, okay, guys? Okay. 
Okay. For 55 to 70 percent of people out here, okay, like including the person who requested this, it's like I'm a suitor, okay, but I'm kind of like why I like you and why I kind of find you, I can't stop thinking about you is because uh, you seduce me, okay? It's like the characteristics that you have, your looks, okay? The self-made person you are, okay? Or the hardworking type of person you are, your emotional intelligence that I assume you have, okay? But I think you have those things. Uh, makes you a very stable suitor for me. Okay, you're a very stable person. And that in itself is a turn on characteristic for this one. Okay, like I, whoever I am, I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so, <laughs> um, but it's like, my challenge with the seven of cups is to kind of like know that i'm like not the only suitor here it's like perhaps seven of cups it's like you have other options if you're single okay why i see you this way and why it's my challenge is because uh you're very single okay but it's like or i'm single I'm single, okay? For some, you just know I'm single, okay? I'm single and I'm kind of like seeking for a partner and I kind of see you and you're perfect for me, okay? With all the knowledges and all, all what I'm kind of like thinking about you uh, and how I'm seeing or perceiving you, this one, uh, I feel you're perfect for me. It's like marriage material, they'll go there and uh, boyfriend, girlfriend material, they'll go there with you definitely. But it's like, how I'm kind of seeing you is that you're a very, like, passion-oriented person. You recognize yourself. You recognize other people, which is very, like, turn-on for me. Or career-oriented. You're very career-oriented, this one. Um, you're self-made, okay? Overall, this is what I think of you. If you're not that way, then just understand that this is what they're assuming you to be. Now, if you are that way... You're self-made, you have your own creations, you've done certain stuff and you're working hard on it, you're focusing on it. You're self-made like that, okay? Uh, like, I think that you're the type that manages your time very well. You don't waste your time. You don't waste your time with useful stuff. You kind of are very straightforward, you're very honest. Okay, for some of you, you're very bold and straightforward and that's that's even a, a plus for this person okay it's like i i i think you're very honest you're very straightforward you don't bullshit at all you don't waste people's time you are kind of very very wise um like you're forgiving too perhaps for some part uh but with the moon you're very intuitive too so it's a, it's a it's a combination of many stuff this one okay so i don't know if I know you really, or I'm assuming you're like this, okay? So this one, I can't stop thinking about you, but overall, I have, I perceive you to be very straightforward, very bold, very attractive, all, like, my type, my type. What I'm hearing is that what I think about you is that you're my type. If ever you are interested in somebody, just be aware I'm here, okay? I'm here. <laughs> this is what i think okay it's like but i feel like you don't you're not seeking for a relationship perhaps you have a lot of potential that's what they're thinking but potential for husband material, potential for wife material, wife material, or, or husband, or partner, or like career orientation. It's like I could also be a male here. It doesn't need to be romantic, this one, okay? But I can't stop thinking about I could definitely be like a very like greedy or like a good coach and or um like uh, a coach okay it could be an idol or a trainee in my uh in a specific place where it's like i'm like a model teacher and i kind of like saw you once in my life but it's like i 
I saw you once and I kind of looked at your looks and I kind of looked at the mountain energy. It's like, I feel like I can make you transform yourself into a very famous like model or like an athlete or something of that sort. So it, it could be like a, could be business oriented wise, this one. Okay. It doesn't need to be like marriage. No, it doesn't, it doesn't need to be marriage. Okay. It doesn't because for some of you. It could be, you will know, uh, but for some of you, it's like, it's a turn on, you're a turn on, okay? It's like, a, it's like people who watch hockey, you know, like, I like hockey and it's like, imagine like the hockey player is hot and uh, it's a self-made man. So this person is my type, right? It's like that overall, but it's like, I might know you in a bit better way that I kind of know that you have a certain emotional intelligence to you also. So I could be simply a fan. I can't stop thinking about your fan girling or fan boying on you. Uh, <laughs> or I genuinely kind of like I'm I'm single and I wish to be your only option. But my challenge is that you have other options. You might have other options, be it other companies that seek you and they will get you. Uh, be it um, other females or other celebrities that are around you that you can like be with or overall it's that vibration it's like the grading a bit for the person as if like who am I to have a chance with a big shot like you it's a bit like that okay so <laughs> I'm looking at you and I'm I know you're a big shot if we're going more judgmental or more like look wise I'm giving you a 10 on 10. I'm single, I'm a girl, or I'm a guy. I gave you the 10 on 10, I kind of like want to get you. But it's like I'm aware that there are other guys or other girls around me that want you too. It's like that's the assumption I have. And it's like you kind of kept left a, such a big impression on me with your honest and bold characteristics that I got turned on even more. And it's like it made me very happy. It's like a list of a perfect partner or a perfect like employer, okay, like an employee. And you're kind of like checking all the check marks. This is what I'm doing with you, basically. So this one. <laughs> you're sexy as shit, okay. And if you're not sexy, you're completely my type, okay. Whatever type I seek. Because not only do you have your looks per me, for me. You're a self-made woman or man. You're very emotionally um, intelligent. You're quite bold and you see through my bullshit. It's like that. This is what I think about you. I can't stop thinking about you. Okay? This one, more than anything, this is like an ego boost for some of you, but not just an ego boost it's like you feel good because the person definitely does like you this one it's like i want to get to know you better and etc but it's like you're definitely my type i'm kind of like i have my eyes on you for sure okay eyes on the price okay so that's the type of person they are for now this is what they're thinking about you Okay, so I hope it resonated. You will know and uh, see you uh, on my channel again. Bye-bye, guys.